Lads, I need more comedy in my life. To be more specific, I need more comedy anime in my life. And I don't mean your silly rom-coms with one or two perverted jokes thrown in there. I need some of that good stuff. Some of that 23 minutes of pure chaos to feast my eyes upon. I need stuff like Grand Blue and Daily Lives of High School Boys. The lack of comedy anime is worrying to me because I need to treat my funny bone properly. Like if we just take a look at LiveShot.me to see the current and upcoming anime, 90% of them give or take are just fantasy adventure anime with some isekai shit sprinkled in here and there. Tell me, where are my college lads trying to give each other alcohol poisoning? I fear that true comedy anime is just slowly dying out. I cannot remember the last time I saw a new anime completely centered around comedy. Now obviously this is me exaggerating for the video because there are a couple of them for sure. An example of an upcoming show is my dear friend Nokotan, yes dear spelled as in a dear, and this seems to be the perfect chaotic mess of a comedy anime I've just been wanting and waiting for to return. I will link the trailer you're seeing on the screen right now in the description down below so you can take a look at it for yourself to really get a better glance at what it's all about because it is, it, uh, well I shouldn't say it is, it's looking to be pretty fun. But my point still stands, I, I feel like we have really drifted away from the comedy genre in and of itself. Just looking back at all of the things we had in the past, um, we had Belzebub where a delinquent needs to take care of a demon baby and goes on all kinds of wacky adventures with his friends. We had Grand Teacher Onizuka where a delinquent becomes a teacher and it's just filled to the brim with just funny jokes every single episode. It was so great. Um, we had Daily Lives of High School Boys which I touched upon earlier where we follow just several high school boys and admittedly high school girls on the stupidest most relatable adventures. And more recently we have gotten stuff like Konosuba, Shimonetta and Grand Blue which I also touched upon earlier. But if you compare the very few mostly comedy focused shows to what tends to release each season it's not really a whole lot. I vividly remember watching Grand Blue one summer and just laughing my ass off for all 12 episodes of that entire show. That really was one of my best experiences watching anime of all time, period. The ability to just watch a show and be all laughs the entire time is just something I find lacking in most of the recent releases if I'm just being completely honest. Now this is partially just my opinion of course, there is absolutely no way I can say that my experiences count for all of you. But I just feel like I have not been able to watch a recent anime for the past say five years and just laugh and have a genuinely good time save for some exceptions of course. Nowadays the shows I tend to give a try are dropped by me after like episode four because I feel like I have seen this exact same story exactly seven other times in the last few weeks. Maybe this is due to me being a massive boomer when it comes to the amount of anime I've watched but, but damn I, I miss some of the good old comedy centered shows man I, I really do miss them. Even if a new comedy anime releases there is usually a useless romance subplot that adds literally nothing. I also feel like the humor tends to be toned down a bit. Like in Grand Blue there are people chugging spiritus and pulling their cocks out every five minutes. Like you would not easily see that stuff in the more censored shows we get today. But I do have to say that I am glad the woke censorship has not affected anime even remotely the same way it has affected mainstream media and series slash movies. I cannot even watch a normal movie nowadays without being bombarded with 75 additional woke subplots that are just seemingly required by law or something, which also just completely just contribute nothing, absolutely nothing to the plot itself. Thank fucking god, the Japanese tend to dislike changes because I shiver at the thought of imagining woke anime. It, it, it's literally nightmare fuel, it really is. But alas, there is still some hope. Like I said before, there is a new anime releasing sometime near the end of this year I believe, which has all the aspects these older comedy anime used to have. My dear friend Nokotan seems like the perfect ADHD comedy show which will just bombard you with stupid jokes that have you laughing for the entire episode, at least I think they will. I absolutely adore these rapid fire comedy shows because my internet addicted brain can have its little dopamine spike. But I still blame the hordes of trashy, just garbage, god awful isekai trash shows for taking up nearly all of the placements for new anime releases. These super generic stories can literally be written in 5 days and require zero talent whatsoever. Now obviously there are exceptions, don't crucify me, I'm perfectly aware that there are some decent isekai shows out there, duh. But writing a good comedy show with actual thought out jokes takes a lot more effort than just copying another isekai show and slightly changing things to avoid copyright. Writing a comedy show requires actual comedic talent and an inkling of skill. The same cannot be said for the 
majority of these blanket isekai shows. I am completely convinced any chimpanzee could write a semi-readable isekai show, but none could write a good comedy show. I also love, by the way, how this video has devolved into me ranting on isekai for the third time this month, by the way, but at least it has its purpose in this video. So I feel like a lot of young people just aren't as interested in the genre as the previous generations were. Maybe it's because the genre of isekai wasn't really a big thing back then. Like, I think we only started calling these shows isekais about 10-ish years ago, give or take? Before that, these types of shows were mostly just considered fantasy or adventure. They weren't really called isekai yet, but comedy has not had that real popularity boost that isekai shows had. I really do believe that a lot more people would enjoy watching comedy shows if they knew they existed, because honestly, they don't really know that they exist. Like, the people I've asked to like name five comedy shows, not a lot of them were able to answer more than like two or three, give or take. But the problem is also that many Making a pure comedy show nowadays is less likely to succeed than, say, an isekai show, an adventure show, or really anything shonen slash fantasy. The best we can really hope for is for it to be inserted as a subplot of sorts. A comedy show about some regular high school boys would not garner the same amount of attention as something, say, like Jujutsu Kaisen because it lacks the fleshy fights. I truly do believe that if a show is not fast-paced and filled with action, the younger generations won't like it as much. That might just be me being a boomer about the next generation for sure, but if I see the attention spans of these younger kids that have been just completely ruined by TikTok, I kinda get why some of these older slower paced comedy shows might just not resonate with them in the slightest. They quite literally require an action scene, a pervy scene and a song and dance to occur nearly every minute or their attention is just completely gone. But once again, that's really just me speculating because I don't have any proof of this. This is literally just me seeing the people around me and just thinking like, you know, I kinda get why it might not be something that they like. But once again, I don't have any like real scientific evidence for this, but I don't think that's the point of this video either. I just really believe that comedy is not going to be as successful, or at least pure comedy isn't going to be as successful with these younger guys, because they are just so used to having like flashy colors and just, just great action scenes every five seconds. And comedy anime just don't tend to be that rapid fire. Like, they can be rapid fire, but just generally not as much as, say, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen or Dragon Ball with the constant fights and action. But to get back on track, I do have very high hopes for my dear friend Nokotan to revive a bit of interest into the comedy and gag genres of anime in general. I absolutely love having a proper laugh at silly jokes when I just want to watch something and relax. I don't want to always watch something and be like super focused on the edge of my seat. Sometimes I just want to sit back, open up a bag of chips, eat some and just enjoy myself, you know? But what do you guys think? Do you guys also want to see more pure comedy anime quote unquote shows or are you fine with them being left in the background for more action-oriented shows. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And sorry if this video seems a bit disoriented, this is really just me writing down what I thought about the subject as is and just recording it the same day. So not everything might be the clearest thing ever, but just roast my ass in the comments if you didn't understand a word of what I said. And I also want to ask like, in this video and the previous video, is the audio quality better? Because I did some changes to like my audio settings and the way I positioned my microphone. So I would really like to know if the audio is clearer um, if it's not too loud, if it's just in general better, because I do want to improve myself continuously, obviously. And I'm not an audio engineer, so I don't really have a lot of like intimate knowledge about audio, so I would really appreciate all the feedback I can get. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you liked today's video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts to help promote the channel. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty, and I will see you all again in the next video. Peace out.